It really feels like the hand of history is on us here. The people at this protest are basically asking, are we a country that is complicit in racism via its silence and politeness, or are we a nation that is actively anti-racist? They're marching for people in Brixton. They're marching for people in Tottenham, in Moss Side, in Hull. I did not know these girls. Like, what, what, a week yeah, ago? It, it, we're, we're just doing something that needed to be done. Yeah, we don't 100%. see it as activism. It's literally just us being like, guys, this is weird. Why, why are we still, not, why are we still talking about this other 30 uh, years? George Floyd died in Minneapolis. Yeah. We are in London. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the connection for you? We also stand in solidarity with them because we also understand that the UK is not innocent uh -huh. yeah. in terms where there's been police brutality. So we're over here to just kind of raise awareness mm. to also be like, guys, it's an issue in the UK. Yeah. A lot of people say like, oh, but you know, I don't understand racism. And I'm like, it's because you physically can't experience it yeah. because you don't know how it's like on the other exactly. hand. This whole all lives matter thing, it's just it's just against the black, like they, they, don't, they don't have the same meaning that we do. Like people are like, all lives matter, we're all equal, but we're not. We're not. All black lives, lives will matter, matter you, uh, when black lives matter. Exactly. As as well. Good afternoon, Nick. Thousands of people here climbed into Parliament Square. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're all here. There's not just black people, there's so many different different types of people. We need change. We need we demand change, period. Amen. I think it's amazing so many people have turned up today because it's important. And I think it's important for a lot of white people to turn up as well to say that you're not alone. Rise up and wake up. Rise up and is this going to be for though? Because racism is trending. So you know. What about when it's not trending? When, what about when it's not trending? And that's the that's the that's the important thing. And I always say that you know, when something racist is happening, are you going to stand up for someone on the train? You know, are you going to challenge your boss if he says something racist in passing? Are you going to do those things? Because that's how you disrupt the system. The protest has turned. This is changing. So lots of people will come here. This is personal. When they see the police, it draws up a visceral reaction. This is exactly what organisers called not to happen. Just at the end of the protest, when the heavens had opened, trouble started. If you hadn't been to that protest, when you see it reported like that, it just limits how people engage with the issue. They start to think about the violence and not why people were protesting in the first place. That means that we don't, we don't move forward. We don't have the uncomfortable conversations that we need to have in terms of racism. Hey, Just come through, yeah? So we've had these weeks of protests now. They've, you know, been headline news and you know, all around the world and people talking about it in Parliament, all that kind of thing. But do you think that people actually care? I think that a lot of people do genuinely, genuinely do like care. And I don't think that is the majority, which is sad, mm -hmm. but I do think that there's a very, there's a big energy that wants to change. Do you get what I'm saying? However, why is it that it has to take a load of black people to come on the streets, chanting all the things that we're trying for you to think to yourselves, oh, my business doesn't have diversity. My business doesn't have someone at the top of color. My business, like, do you get what I'm saying? It is, like, it's amazing how many people come out yeah. and how many people come and support. Yeah. And do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, it's sick. But who's really doing the work? It needs to start with the education yeah. system, well, I'll, and I'll then it say, comes. To, then it comes well, to here. Kids, you can't go wrong with them. Yeah. Like everything that they they're say, fun. everything they're, they're just they're, exactly they, they absorb information, inf everything that goes on around them. So if we can catch them from such a young type of age, then I don't see where we can go wrong with other um, voices. We need. That's what we're pushing because we're not. We're not joking about people. Don't understand that we've actually got 
emails we've written we've got contact with these people with a lot of big organizations that want to help us so we're ready to like put that in to to push that so i'm really proud of, of everything not just yeah. us but every single person in general that's advocated for black lives matter because yeah. everyone is doing something you yeah. need to keep that safe exactly. energy 365 days of the year I, period I, I just feel like this generation yeah we said you're not about to play with us no more